Alright guys, my seat come out in the lawnmower. Cheers. I don't know how we could be riding down the road in the wind trying to pick it up. But I, I got to get it glued down because when I go cut people's grass, I don't want to have to worry about taking the chair out every time and putting it in the vehicle so that it doesn't blow out when I'm right. So what I'm using to uh, glue it, I'm not doing anything else with glue. I'm using this regular old silicone and caulk gun. It gave it's clear, it's not white. Anyway, what we're gonna do is just take the chair out. In the case that your chair ain't all the way out, just glue where the piece is coming out and then uh, get you a ratchet strap and just ratchet strap to keep pressure on it. So that I'll show you how to do that when I get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh put silicone all over the places. Set it in there. It might come out the edges, but then we got to. Uh, I'm gonna go run and get some ratchet straps real quick. Okay, I went and grabbed some ratchet straps. You can use the plain old straps like that, or you can use actual ratchet straps and some people like their regular old ones and some of them like the regular ratchet straps. Anyway, hold on a second. <laughs> Might just use that red one. Okay, so when so when you're putting your ratchet strap on, I think it's gonna rain soon. You better hurry up. Okay. It's okay if your seat starts to do that. Don't do it much more than that. And you see that that back piece ain't on. You just throw all that extra crap down there. Get your silicone out. You got a little bit more silicone in the do. Strong. Oh, I'm sorry, I knocked y'all. That stuff is strong as crap. It was like sour or something. Get you another ratchet strap. Or you can use clamps, it don't matter. You can use those, those carpenter clamps. Just use whatever you got. Possibly even a rope if you can get it tight enough. Alright, so I got to figure out what my a little bit too much thing again. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, that stuff is very strong.
try this again. not want to use ratchet strap. You may just want to use a fine piece of plant. They can be a pain in the tail something. I know what I'll use. Use something that's got a little bit more easier to use. One of these traditional straps. This will probably be better for him in any way. Most of the video is probably going to be on me trying to get these ratchet straps. I'm going to stop the video right here, and I'm going to get that ratchet strap on and get back with you. Okay, I got the ratchet strap on. Best as I can get it anyway. Add some. Don't afraid to get this on your hand. Sometimes you put too much, just be careful. All right. I'm gonna go get a towel real quick and wash and get my hands clean, but I'll be right back. Okay, so now all you'll still have to do is let it sit for about 24 hours or however long. Now, if you have to cut grass while the chair is like this, you can find you cushion put on it like this so you're not just sitting on ratchet straps or whatever you're using. And then in the morning, or it's best to do it in the afternoon. Uh, take the ratchet straps off and see how it did. And if you still do have a little places where it needs to be glued, just glue it back, put a ratchet strap on it, and you should be good to go. Should be. Alright. Now I'm going to go for it. Get all your stuff tied up or whatever you want to do with the extra stuff. And there you go. By morning, it should be like new. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.